Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a menu bar to Google Chrome. So if you remember using Internet Explorer, how you had the file and edit and other menu here, like you would with the uh, many other Windows programs. Uh, Google Chrome doesn't have that. It does have a bookmarks bar, which you could have across the top to get your bookmarks. So to do this, we're going to use an extension called Proper Menu Bar for Google Chrome. This will also work for Edge. Uh, we did a video on how to do that, so it's kind of the same process. So I'll put a link in the description. So once you go here, you just click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. Just make sure you're signed in with the user that you want it to apply to. And then it'll give you this little informational thing. So now you'll see you have this uh, bar up here with File, you know, with New Tab, New Incognito Window Close, Print Exit. doesn't have a Open option, which would be nice if it did. Uh, edit, cut, copy, paste, get to your settings, uh, view, you know, if you want to refresh or zoom, uh, check your history, get your bookmarks manager uh, for your windows, see different uh, options from there, and then your help options. So you could also find it up in your extensions here if you want to pin it, you could just pin that, and that way if it's not running on a page, you could click on here to uh, start it up and also get to the options. So if you click on the options, you have the basics, and you could use this menu bar as, you know, like I said, file, edit, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Or you could have it be a Google bar, and by default it adds all these things here. So if you want to get rid of them, you'd have to delete them. So let's say, let's just uh, clean this up real quick. like that. And so if we go back to here, just uh, you can see that it automatically refreshed it. So now we have all their popular Google sites here or Google apps. You can just click on one of those to take you there. And then you could also go to the design section here, change the font color of the link. So let's say we're going to make this white and then the uh, background color. Don't confuse it with this. This is background color when you mouse over. This is the background cover and there's also some built-in kind of image backgrounds there. So let's change this to a, like a Google Blue. And now if we go back here, refresh, and I can see we changed the colors right there. So one thing you'll notice is this doesn't work for every uh, website. So you can see it doesn't work for this one, doesn't work for that. Let's say if we go to uh, GitHub, it works there. So not sure why it doesn't work for every single website, but it should work for most sites. So you might find that your bar is missing when you uh, go there. So let's do this, turn this back to the regular bar. Okay. And then you have some advanced options here for permissions and syncing and reset if you want to get it back to a normal. And then of course you have to guide so once again, it's it's pretty you know it's pretty simple. You might find it useful, you might not. And like I said, if you uh, find that it doesn't work for a bunch of pages you normally go to, you might not want to use it. And if that's the case, you could just go back to your extensions, and then just uh, remove from Chrome. So once again, I'll put a link in the description. Just go there, install it, and try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.